Let's walk down there. You guys all saw that. Come on, Jake. That is not trick photography either. Folks, that's a CVA Apex, third shot ever. What, well, hey, Jake? <laughs> that's dead center. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that with my mother loader. <laughs> that's wicked. <laughs> that's, that's like freakish. Folks, this picture that we're showing you right now was the second shot we ever shot with this thing. The first one, I was three inches low. I came up 32 clicks. That's my third shot ever. All right, so just so you guys don't think any of this is made up, all I did, I pulled the breech out. I used this little breech cleaner, I ran this a couple times up it. Then I pulled a patch with a little bit of the Otis cleaner on it. It's a cleaner lubricant solvent. Then I ran this little brush through it twice. Then I ran this back through it twice. Clean as a whistle. I'm shooting the Hornady. That's a 240 grain, 44 Magnum slug in this green Sabbath. I'll show you what the box looks like. The box, that's it. That's the bullet that I'm shooting right there. That's 110 grains of Blackhorn 209. Super, super clean. And then I'm just using a normal 209 primer. I mean, I'm not like some top ninja muzzleloader black powder guy. I just am a dude out here that wants to kill a big buck, you know? Okay, hey there, you guys. I'm Rob Arrington with Deer Meat for Dinner. Let me give you the rundown. Me and a couple of my buddies went out to Kansas on this hunt. I thought I had it all set up, but it didn't work out quite the way I wanted. Took a few shots, got that muzzleloader sighted in. I was really, really confident. Cruised around, uh, started talking to a bunch of different people. I found 160 acres that I was allowed to hunt. Slipped in, set up a tree stand, and in the very first afternoon, it was like just the miracle set. Bucks came from everywhere, and check this out. This is my biggest muzzleloader kill to date. It, let me just explain this to you. It was hot, the sun was going down in my face, and when it turned prime time, the deer came out. What an epic set. I knew I hit the deer good, got down, trailed him up, and look at this buck. What a beautiful Kansas 10-pointer. No, he's not the biggest buck in the world, but I was so proud because that's not land that I knew. That's just property that I got permission to hunt on. Jeff Stevens, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. If you guys are looking for a great outfitter, Jeff Stevens, old Red Dog, Kansas Big Boys. He just let me go in and get on that property, set it up. He didn't tell me where to hunt, what to do, or anything else. But I thank you so much for letting me hunt. And uh, you guys, this is the way we roll. This is who we are. This is no big production. This is just some video of our life. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being a part of the channel. If you're not, subscribe, like the, like the video, leave a comment, let me know what you think, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. I'm out.